Chapter 14 The Golden Cap The Golden Cap, which was kept in a special cabinet, had magical powers. It was made of gleaming gold with a circle of diamonds and rubies running around it. Whoever owned the cap could use it three times to call the winged monkeys, and the winged monkeys could do as the owner commanded. The Wicked Witch had used the charm twice already. The first time, she ordered the winged monkeys to help her make the winkies her slaves. The second time, she got the winkies to fight Oz and chase him out of her kingdom. She didn't want to use her third command until she absolutely had to, but there didn't seem to be any other way to stop the intruders. The Wicked Witch opened the cabinet, took out the cap, and put it on her head. She stood on her left foot, then she stood on her right foot, then she made her wish and bowed. At once, the sky grew dark and loud, and a loud rumble seemed to come from everywhere. Soon she was surrounded by huge winged monkeys. The biggest winged monkey, who seemed to be their leader, flew close to the Wicked Witch and said, This is the last, the third and last time you can call us. What do you command? The Wicked Witch pointed toward Dorothy and her friend and said, Go there and destroy them all, except the lion. Bring him to me and I shall harness him like a horse and put him to work as my slave. As you command, said the leader. The winged monkeys flew away in a big dark cloud of a chattering noise. They flew so fast that the friends had no chance to prepare for the attack. In a flash, the winged monkeys had taken the axe from the tin woodman and carried him away. They carried him very high over a gully full of sharp rocks. Then they dropped him. He landed on the rocks with a clash and lay there, dented and broken and unable to move. As he watched, the winged monkeys flew away. He cried because he hadn't been able to help his friends. He thought that he would never move again or get his heart. He couldn't dry his tears, so he slowly rested. He couldn't even call for help. Meanwhile, other winged monkeys were attacking the scarecrow. They tore out all his stuffing and threw it far out of reach. Then they took his clothes and threw them in the top of the tall tree. Without his stuffing, he was powerless to help his friends. Still, other monkeys were attacking the lion. He growled and bit and jumped, but that wasn't enough to stop the winged monkeys. They threw ropes around his legs and neck until he couldn't move. Then they picked him up and, th and flew away. That left Dorothy and the Toto all alone. The poor girl was upset about her friends and wondered what the monkeys would do to her and Toto. But the winged monkeys did nothing at all. The leader had spotted the mark of the good witch kiss on her forehead and told the others to stay back. This girl is protected by the power of good, he told his followers, and that is greater than the power of evil. Let's just take her back to the wicked witch's castle and leave her there. So that is what they did. Back at the castle, the winged monkey's leader told the wicked witch what had happened. So that's it, he said, dusting off his paws. After sending Dorothy down, you have no more power over us. Goodbye. Then the winged monkeys took off, and in just a few seconds, they were gone.